And the deep breath also tells you something. Ugh. No? No, it does. I mean, it does if you want to believe that. I think it It was maybe a dramatized uh, recreation. Like, do you think Jalen Bra- or Jason Tatum's really exhausted talking about this already? Like, it's the, probably the first time he's been asked. But this not being on camera yep. with a guy that is not a bomb tosser in Mark Spears... I am certain that how Mark Spears was delivering that to us was approved by Tatum. There's no way you get a one-on-one with Tatum where he trusts to tell you things without a microphone that you then would go and ruin that trust right before the Olympics even begin as Tatum's just coming into his own as one of the faces, if not the face of the NBA. Yeah. So I just, if this were other people, I would, if this were Stephen A. Smith, if this were Tim Legler, if this were anybody, if this were J.J. Redick when he was still an analyst, I would think differently. Mark Spears is uniquely qualified for this. He covered the Celtics for several years, was a national writer at Yahoo, now is at ESPN, is one of the more respected voices in all of sports. Like, I just, that is interesting. we got a couple of calls we're going to get to here before Courtney tells us what's going on in the world. But uh, let's go to Charlie in Boston on Tatum. Good morning, Charlie. Hey, good morning. Thanks for having me. Great show. You guys are doing a great job. Um, so a little context on Hart's uh, comments. So I was I actually called in yesterday and kind of floated that idea about JT as kind of a tinfoil hat idea and wanted them to run with it. But Hart pretty much explained exactly my thought process. Because I just, I don't, it doesn't make sense. If you copy and paste Kawhi, you get JB. So it's just, it's just such a weird thing. It doesn't make sense. And I think that there is a possibility it could be JT, but I, I don't know. It's tough to say. All right, Charlie. Thank you. Um, I it can't be. It cannot be Jason Tatum. But we all agree if it is Tatum that there is that that is irreparable damage to that relationship. Of course, of course. But he can't. The, these guys aren't idiots. They know that if they're going to say speak out against one of their teammates making an Olympic team after you just won a championship together, that's gonna get out. That's gonna get back to him. Like I don't, I don't care who you think in the room is gonna be respectful of what you're saying. I, it, Jason Tatum is not an idiot. He he knows what this would do, the damage it would do to the team next season. He it cannot be that. Yeah, I I agree. I. If it was that, it is a all-time whiff. I mean, I can't think of a, a similar occurrence. I mean, I guess there was really not a potential to have something like that reoccur because in no other sport do the best players in the world play for their country mm-hmm. uh, like it happens here. Let's get to Sorja before we get to the news. Good morning, Sorja. How are you? What's going on, guys? How are you this morning? Good. How are you? Uh, congrats to Coco on the new deal and happy birthday to Sean. Uh, but... You know, I just really want to get into this really quick because I think what's really getting lost in all of this is that we're all on JB's side that he was snubbed, but he just handled it in, like, the worst way possible. And, you know, I was thinking this morning that, oh, maybe he just said no comment just to be safe. But I think you guys are absolutely correct. And I'm just wondering if this is going to bleed into this season because – you know, we. I feel like we now, after this situation, we are giving Joe Missoula more credit uh, for managing the Eagles all season. And if he's able to go back-to-back with this roster, I mean, Joe Missoula is going to be one of the best coaches of all time. You- yeah, I mean, I, I said that about a half hour ago. It's. I mean, it, it does put into perspective the job that is required of, of Missoula to – ensured the two, you know, the two Lamborghinis you have are driving well together, and they did, and he deserves credit for that. Um, right before we get to the news, a uh, quick note on the Super New England text line. People are asking if I believe that this is what happened. No, I don't think Jason Tatum lobbied Team USA from having Jalen Brown on the team. Yeah. That would be, I mean, did he lobby for him to be on the team? No, probably not. But I don't think he sat there and told anybody to not. You don't understand. You understand the difference? Yeah, but I don't. Do you think Jason Tatum has enough pull on that team to be able to lobby or not lobby for somebody? No, he's not even starting. Right. I, I, right. I guess my point is, is that I, I don't think that he went out of his way to do anything regarding Jalen Brown, and yeah. he's happy that Derek White's there, but he's not the one creating. And I think he would have been happy if Jalen Brown was right. there. I don't he think he would have had any issue whatsoever. So no, I don't think that. But here is. So we're not going to hear the question. 
We have the audio of Jason Tatum responding to Mark Spears about Jalen Brown being left off the team. Uh, no. Did you talk about having Jalen here? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's so many guys that could, you know, take the last spot or whatever. Uh, so, yeah, it is. <laughs> Oof. Okay, that's I, not a great answer. I, I see that answer to me. It, listening to it, it's but that's not the question. That so that's not with Mark Spears. Somebody was saying that Jones was playing Mark Spears. That's 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 not the interview with Mark Spears. Because if Mark Spears had the interview, they would have played it as part of the package on ESPN. But it's the same exact question, right? I'm sure he was so, asked. Yeah, well, he so, even says the nah nah part. Right. Nah. So for me, like. I think that Jason Tatum does not want to touch this with a 10-foot pole. Like, I don't think he wants to be involved when it comes to Jalen and Nike. But I don't if you're think... a good teammate, don't you get involved? If you're asked if about you're it. If you're Jason Tatum and you have a shoe with Nike. You don't say Nike. You say Jalen Brown deserves to be on but this the team. Whole, but we think the whole reason why Jalen Brown is not on this team is because of what he did against Nike. So, so you're saying he's more loyal to Nike than to Jalen Brown? Who's paying him? So there Nike. you go. Well, that's an Nike's issue. about to drop the the Tatum three. Yeah. Right. I mean, the Greg Hill two is quite the shoe. Oh, I mean, I would I scoop that up in an instant. <laughs> it, it gets worn very quickly. It's going to resale it for a lot of money. Uh, all right. Well, we're knee deep in this. We'll get to it. We'll continue this as the show goes on. Six one seven 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 nine seven ninety three seven. But right now, Boston's newswoman Dan- Danielle. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow, three years later. Man, you just had a new contract, too. Yeah, it's all right. to deal with this for another three uh, years. I'll take a lap. I Courtney okay. Cox de Torre. That's what the D was I'm, for. I'm honored for you to think I'm Danielle. Oh, my Lord. That was weird. The brain is an odd place. I can remember Schottenstein Center, but not Courtney Cox.